Hey guys, welcome back to Dial H. We're continuing our How to Play Heroclix series. This episode is going to be all about team building. There's lots of ways to build teams in Heroclix, so let's head over to Simeon to cover the basics. When beginning to build a team, you'll need a build total. The typical build total for Heroclix is 300. You can find the point value of characters on the card or on the character's base. Once you have enough characters to total up to your build total, you have a full team. A few other things to consider when building your team are prime and unique figures. A unique figure has a silver ring on its base, which means you can only have one of that specific figure on your force. A prime figure has a green ring, which means you can only have one prime on your force. Another really important aspect to look at when building teams is keywords. The reason why you might want to check out keywords is because if you have the same keyword across all the characters that you build with, you'll have a themed team. Now keywords come in two varieties, generic, such as animal, and named, such as the X-Men. The benefits of playing with a theme team are that you get a plus three to your initiative bonus, which means that you can either pick map or go first. Also, you'll find that lots of characters synergize with keywords. Sometimes it's also just a lot of fun to play thematically. And if theme teams aren't your style, well that's okay. One of my favorite ways to play the game is to make team ups that have never happened in comics before happen on the Heroflix battlefield. Like Batman, Captain America, and John Cena teaming up to fight The Undertaker, Joker, and Red Skull. You can make some hilarious Heroflix matches that way. And sometimes, figures that don't share a keyword can still really synergize really well together. So let's take a look at some figures you're going to want to include on your first team. Scoring points is how you win in Heroclix, and in order to score points, you're going to have to KO some figures. Now, the easiest way to do that is to have great stats so that you can have a solid attack and solid damage against your opponents. But stats can only get you so far, so you'll need powers like your speed powers. Running Shot Charge and Hypersonic will let you close the gap and hit them first. Things like Psychic Blast and Exploit Weakness will help you get through those defense reducers. And powers like Ranged Combat Expert and Close Combat Expert will help you boost your stats so that when you hit, they really feel it, and you get those points. And those big attackers are going to need some help so they can get the job done. Consider including powers like this on your force. Perplex and Probability Control to make sure attacks will land, Outwit to take away powers that are vital to your opponent, and Enhancement in Power can allow you to deal even more damage for your big attackers. Remember, Heroclix is a team game, so get out there and play like one. While it's not necessary for every team, something that you should consider is mobility of your team. Being able to carry people with the passenger ability or get that extra reach with telekinesis is something that'll help you get into battle faster. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it gave you some ideas on how to play your first Heroclix team. Heroclix has been around for 20 years, so there's a lot to build with. And no matter what figures you play or how you play them, most importantly, make sure to have fun.